Okay. Hi there, Trekkers and Trekkies. Um, if you haven't paid attention to the video that you've clicked on uh, and have no clue why I decided to open by singing the Jurassic Park song, um, we're doing a vehicle transformation. I'm going to take this here car, this Jeep, from uh, it's from the second Jurassic Park movie, The Lost World. <clears throat> And uh, we are going to turn it into the Argo, which I'll pop a picture up right about here, right there, of uh, the Argo from uh, Star Trek Nemesis and a sort of a secondary version, which I really am kind of leaning more towards the Lower Decks version, which I'll, again, pop a picture up of uh, is what I'm kind of more going for. Um but I realized that this Jeep from Lost World, which, let's see, this was made by Hasbro in 1998. There we go. Had to look at it real close. Um, it is going to be a real good base for converting it. So let us take a real quick closer look at it and discuss what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, so first thing is I'm going to be popping this weird orange handle thing off and I'm probably going to see if I can use the hole there to create a bracket that comes up and we can attach a uh, phaser cannon to of some sort, but that is the least of the things I'm going to be looking at doing. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool is the passenger seat does slide out. Uh, it was supposed to be, excuse me, suddenly got a hiccup, so that like in the movie, um, they could the passenger could drive along and like shoot at the dinosaur or something like that. If you remember Jurassic Park, when they go back to the island to try and or to the second island to try and capture uh, the dinosaurs. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, the inside of the cabin I'm going to be keeping mostly the same. I'm going to pop the uh, orange bits of this little handle. And I am going to keep that little handle because I think it's kind of fun for the passenger of even an Argo driving craft, whatever you call those, land cruiser, land shuttles. We're going to call the Argo a land shuttle, which we'll get to why it works better in just a minute. Um, pop the steering wheel off and pop this handle thing off. Probably just give them a gunmetal gray finish. Uh, by the time we get done with those. But keep the interior here, this gray. Um, the sticker on the dashboard, I am going to be peeling this off. I'm probably going to take a good picture of it to uh, use as a basis for something. But they've got this entire panel here that's empty. It's got nothing on it. So I'm going to have to make up a new decal to go on this space that will look more uh, Starfleet in design. I'm going to leave the ones inside because they kind of work um, for what we're doing. Now, one thing about the Argo land shuttle was that the front end of it, see what's funny is that this thing from here back actually already looks a lot like the Argo. Like it needs, it needs a little panel that sticks up here but on the front end, it's really very shuttle-shaped. Um, if you look at the picture, you'll notice it's got a very, that pointed shuttle. Well, I figured out part of how to do this. So I had found, uh, so the shuttle that I had when I was a kid kid, we actually found it when the house got torn down. And it had gotten obliterated. But I grabbed the parts and the bottom segment of it is still mostly, you see, it's it's pretty bad shape. It all busted up. But the front piece is still the exact shape that I need. So I've already kind of measured and drawn out some lines here. Um, which if you notice, 
the front of this has a slight angle to it. So my plan is to try and get this angle to match that so that we can then I can cut this. I'm going to cut just a little bit here back in the, on the intersection because I won't, I won't to glue that under here. Of course, I'll have to change the shape of it so that it won't bother the tires. Um, but so that that away, that slight boat angle comes out on the front and then I can take and I've actually got them right here behind me. I've got these styrene rods uh, which I'll then take and attach to the body up here and then we will curve it down to connect with the up curved part of the shuttle there. Um, now I know that the Argo was technically a three person vehicle uh, but if you look at the lower decks version the lower decks version does not look like it really has room in the back for a third person but there is room back there for cargo and stuff which is really all i'm going to be looking for for it to do uh, as long as i can get two people in it and uh maybe have it to where a wharf figure can just stand on the back and have the cannon we'll figure that out later on i'm not as so worried about that part as getting the body to look right the body shape and uh All that so oop. sorry about that first thing's gonna be to get the orange bits off and uh, then start cutting up this piece and uh, see how we can go about attaching which one thing um, I totally forgot to show this this is the vehicle actually is supposed to have battle damage um, there was supposed to be a panel right here goes over this corner uh, so that like a dinosaur can hit it and it'll cause damage to the vehicle. Um, I'm going to have to, well, I'm probably going to be covering most of both of these segments here. So it's really not going to end up being a big deal, but I will have to do something to cover up these ridges along the side here for sure. Uh, because I I'm figured most of this is still going to show but it's kind of going to be a go learn and plan thing as we go kind of situation. So let's get to it. Okay, so I have done a little bit of work on this off camera. don't know why I'm wearing headphones right now. I'm not listening to anything. Um, got pieces cut for what we're going to be doing. I did get uh, all the little orange pieces pulled off those will get painted black and then this piece i did get that this was the thing that was bent i straight i cut it to make it straight so that it'll stick up right there and i'm actually going to use i've got this uh little uh dropper and i'm going to have this as the piece that'll make the shape at the back of the cannon which will end up sitting right there. I know it's not going to be in the middle like in the movie. Um, that's the start of the cannon that I'm going to be working on. And uh, so, yeah, and I'll show the picture of that on the screen. Because thankfully I found a really good reference photo of it. Um, now on the vehicle itself, I had to go ahead and do the work on the front. You see, I got that front end of that shuttle cut off and glued on here and remember there was that missing piece here where it had the break off part for the vehicle damage um i filled that in and got it all connected up to the uh the shuttle rounded part and so we're just going to be attaching first uh it's going to be the piece to close up this gap um, and then we're going to have some pieces that go on the side of that 
<clears throat> um, but also, I have went ahead and glued these two pipes in place. These will be the ones that... Oh, I need to fix that glue better. That is not good. Well, maybe I didn't glue that on. Um, let me... Pause. And I'm going to get some plastic glue and see if we can do a better job. Okay. Fix that. What I did was I took some uh, craft foam and wrapped it around on both of these and glued them with super glue. They'll need a little longer to uh, get really good and stiff. So we'll leave that to be while we put some of the other amenities on here we're going to start with the hood which i'm putting this piece on the front here um and it's actually going at a slight angle and yeah that means there's going to be a little bit of a gap but we'll come in and fill that in later so let me run a dab of glue right here and we'll get that piece put in place I'm gonna let that hold that for a minute while I'm holding that I will go ahead and apply glue back here and I've also got the uh, Tamiya cement plastic cement I'm going to take that and run that on there Run this across here, which I know that'll hold real good on the uh, plastic. And yeah, this is just uh, some uh, these are just uh, ABS plastic sheets. You can get them in fairly large pack and then cut them into uh, pieces that you need. Now I'm going to take on this piece I'm hoping I can get this piece to eventually bend and glue on there real good. I'm going to start by gluing that on here and I have cut these pieces you see these are sort of curving they'll, they'll cover a lot of this gap here on the uh, front corner Sorry, my dog is having an attitude today, so uh, you're going to hear him barking occasionally in the background. I do apologize. Okay, let's let that sit for a minute, and we're going to get... These are the little uh, triangular pieces that are going to fit right in here like 
so um to create that panel that goes up so i'm going to what's nice is that there's actually a little lip right here on the edge of the vehicle that is catching you know what I've just realized something oh there we go I did cut them specifically for each side And then I've got, this will be the little piece that kind of sticks up over the top here. So let me do that. And there we go. Get it all to meet up real nice. There we go. Let's flip this around and now use this piece that I started to glue on over here on the uh, Jeep um, also I forgot to mention at the beginning of this, this uh, section that I did remove all the stickers you probably saw the stickers on the side are gone and I cleaned up the sticker residue from uh, some of the others um, and I do have these little pole segments here I took and I cut them and I'm, I took a file and I've shaved a groove in them so that they will fit over this pole piece and what that'll be is it's gonna be the piece that's gonna stick out from right about here and catch the pole in its curve um, but obviously I need to wait for this up here to get good and hard before I permanently affix that um, I also have this piece which uh, it actually was molded off of the uh, ops station from the um, original bridge playset. I'm going to put that on top right there. Whoop, whoop. Maybe. Because that actually mirrors the shape of the little triangle piece on the Argo. I don't know what the purpose of it is. <laughs> but it's got it. And then these are some greebly little bits that I have made uh, let me see if I can get the camera to let me take that move that light a little bit so yeah there you can kind of see some of the stuff on there um, going to affix that somewhere haven't decided yet uh, this is another one that I haven't figured out exactly this one I might put on top here just to uh, fill in that space um, I know there wasn't anything there in the movie but it's good just to have some filler stuff and then these are the other pieces of that op station that I need to clean up a little bit and I'm probably I think what I'm gonna do is to stick those yeah, probably 
on the back right there something like that to give it that shape at the back or I wonder if I ooh, I could get away with doing that hmm or I wonder if I should do it this way I don't know I think I kind of or how does it look if I do it this way See, this is the part I hadn't perfectly planned this out you know that actually doesn't look too bad that might actually work pretty good I don't know some of you will probably disagree with whatever I do which is fine I'm the one who has to live with it. Uh, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, we can probably fix these front pieces here now. Um, but yeah, it needs more of the, uh, the detail panels like the one from the movie. So, again, none of this is intended to look exactly like the Argo. Um, and in, if nothing else for me, it's to make it look more like, uh, the lower decks version of the, uh, ground transports or the uh, fleet jeeps or whatever you want to call them almost so I'm gonna work on some of that and um, I think next we'll be looking at painting so by the next time you see this i'll probably have all the greebly finished and we will uh have the base coat on well primer and base coat okay okay so i have finished painting uh the body i painted uh well actually i did a ba i did a a uh primer coat then I did a coat entirely in black then I painted this gray color for the inside for the seats uh, maybe you can kind of see in there here I can pull this out and see a little better um, the steering wheel and the little handlebar was I painted black and then I did take and I painted little uh, colored bits on this piece here and I don't know why I'm wearing headphones I just realized that I was listening to music before I was before I started recording that's why um anyways and then I took and I did I thought I had two different shades of silver so I did the vehicle in one and I did the gun in another, and now they look pretty much the same. So, I, I don't know. I don't know if I messed up or what. Maybe I did. Sorry, I'm... There we go. I had to make a slight adjustment, everyone. Apologies. So, um, I need to paint... I don't have a spray paint. I probably wouldn't have even bothered. I wouldn't have even bothered with spray painting the details on the gun. But this plate that's on the top is going to be a sort of bronzy color, which I'll use this. And then the handle and the pipe on the bottom are uh, I'm going to do in gunmetal gray. Um, and that should finish up all the painting. Oh, and this is the. This is the little pole that holds up the gun. I'll actually go ahead and get it back in place. It's gonna... 
Here, let me move things around so you can see before I put this in. It's going to pop in right here, and I will go ahead and do that. And now it can just sit there. It's not going to apparently spin in place. It probably has too much paint on it. Oh, well. But yeah, the gun actually mounts in rather nicely right there. And looks like that. So, bingo bango. Let's get that out. Of course, that scuffs up some of the paint. I haven't put clear coat on any of this stuff yet because I want to do that. Oh, yeah, that paint. I guess because I did so many layers, it just needs... That's a fun sound. Some uh, time to loosen that up. And I have made a uh, sticker sheet. I'll put a picture of it up so everybody can see a closer look at it. That'll be for the... Uh, the panel that goes across the front and then there's the two little panels on the inside between the driver's seat and the passenger seat um, and then I made a pair of Delta shields to go on the sides and then that other oct octagonal shape is uh, for the back of the gun it's the targeting system i'll uh, put up that picture of the cannon again so you can see on the back where i got that from and i literally i just straight up stole it from the uh picture from that book but okay and I don't know if you can see, I did actually make little rivet marks on there. And this is also this sort of bronzy, coppery color here. There. Gonna sit that over there. That'll be dry in about 10 15 minutes. So, that finishes up all of the paint. So, let me let's start by getting. And by the way, I didn't say on the steering wheel, I did actually take it on the middle part. I painted that gunmetal gray and left the steering wheel all black. <laughs> So let's pop that back into place. All right. And that's right in there. And then we pop this guy out. And stick the little handlebars onto there. And we're good there. Let me get my sharp razor blade, and we will first cut out the sticker. Probably should have did that side first. It's all good. Okay, and this is this one goes between the driver and the passenger in the top part. Okay, I got that one on right there now let's take uh, 
right, and that one, you can see down inside there. Very nice. Sort of behind the uh, gear shift. And then this is going to be the big panel. All right, that looks amazing. I know that's not something that we actually saw in the movie, but it just makes sense. Like, the whole remote thing was kind of dumb in my opinion. Um, so, last thing on the car, I did take and I made the two Deltas flipped. <laughs> the reason is going to be kind of silly, so obviously I want the one on the passenger side is going to be the correct angle, I suppose, of the Delta. But, I thought it, it was amusing to me that when I put it on there that it made it look like the, the Argo had ears. So that's the why I flipped the other one so that the deltas would be like ears on there. So let's put that one. And this thing with the delta, this is on the one in the movie, it just said Argo right here. The delta I got from uh, Lower Decks, they, they did that. They had the little, they had that there. So that's why I went with it. So let's do the other one real quick. And there it goes. All right, so the last thing. And yep, that's about dry. And it looks good. Cool, cool. And guess what? Well, that's it. Just mount the gun in place. And we're ready for the cool stuff. Actually, we're not. I still need to put a, a clear coat on here to protect all the paint now that it's done. Now that it's finished, it's fine. I'm only talking to myself and like two people who care. Probably. Nobody's watched this far into the video. They've skipped the commercial bit and they're like, yeah, screw this guy. So let's, let's just get to the commercial bit. <laughs> Probe has been launched. Our probe is malfunctioning. Captain, the probe is broken up. We must collect the fragments. What will we do? We'll use the Argo. Okay, let's put some pen into the middle. It's the Enterprise's newest radical roadster. The Argo can take on any terrain, and when the mission is over, it's time to head home. Let's go home. Cargo is a product of JD Makes, holds up to three compatible figures, plus cargo is not available for sale. Nowhere, no one to know why. Do not look for it retailers. This is mine. You can make your own.
All right. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly have. I'll uh, see you next time. Go out and make something. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Also, you can support the show by signing up on Patreon, or head over to Zazzle to pick up prints of my artwork, prints on canvas, t-shirts, and other merch. You can find me on social media. For more information and updates on the channel, all info is below. If you didn't enjoy the video, why are you still here? Do you want a song? Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, them, yes, them, three bags full. One for the master who can screw himself. You can listen to somebody else.